Let's, uh, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer at this time. Our Father, we call on your name, God. We can approach you, Father, and under no greater name than in the name of our Lord, the Lord Jesus. I pray now, God, that you'll be with Kiri and Dion and all the family and friends. God, we would ask you to comfort them. Help us today, God, to be a blessing to them. Lord, may we exalt your name and encourage the family. I pray, God, that you'll forgive us wherein we fail you. Thank you, God, most of all, that, Lord, we can know you and know we're saved and ready to meet our Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. We had a lady that was going to sing. You can come right here, babe, if you want to stand right here. Stand right there. Bless you all. Bless you all. Deontay, come on, bud. Due to limits of time, the family's asked me for those who want to say anything to please limit your time as briefly as possible. If you'll do that.
well-mannered eight young man. I was most impressed with your determination to finish school with a little push and then further your education to make for a good life for yourself in the future. You almost had your first year at DTCC under your belt. I know one day, I knew one day you would marry a lovely young woman, raise a family, and be a good father. Sometimes it's easier for an outsider to see these things than someone real close. God, in a bigger place for you. I can see you in your white robe in heaven doing your next job. Bless you. Cameron, farewell, but not goodbye, because we will see you again. We will love you and we will miss your presence. <laughs> to the family, please know that even if I could not be there, my prayers are with you and I love you. <laughs> love, Aunt Libby. <laughs> DJ says, from Big Cousin DJ, Cameron, I hate that you're gone and that I can't see your smile. You mean the world to me. And no one can say that you didn't mean the world to them. Growing up with you was one of the most awesome experiences I ever had in my life. From rapping verses of some of our favorite songs, playing Midnight Love on the PlayStation. I'm so sorry that I have been away for most of my teenage years. I did get to see you grow up, excuse me, into an outstanding adult. But I sure did hear about it would always tell me about your smile and how smart you were. There are char these are characteristics and traits that I have seen firsthand from you, but to hear other people say it, even people that aren't family to say it, lets me know that they got to witness the real deal of the cousin I had. You were more of a brother to me than my own biological brothers, more of a brother than a cousin too. Even though we may not be blood, I consider you a true brother, and no one who thinks blood is thicker than water can tell me different. I will not let you be forgotten in my life, and my newborn son will have your name and his name. You will always be in my heart, and I will never forget the memories of you. For all of the members of the family and friends of the family, this is Sergeant Darrell Alston, Mariah Alston, and Dariah Cameron Alston giving you a big hug from South Korea and telling you thank you for being there for my best friend and brother, and I'm happy that we can share the greatness of Cameron in this lifetime together. I love you, Cameron. Fly high. since he was two months old, man. So he, he is my nephew. He grew up my nephew. He grew up be our son. Yes, sir. And we loved him. We loved him. Like... Okay. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't prepare anything to come up and say any, uh, but I, I, I just remember just a couple of days ago I was up here uh, you know, just visual with Dion trying to be there for him and, and there for Kiri and, and there for the, the, the kids. And, uh, and we're sitting there talking, looking at some pictures on the wall. And, uh, you know, every picture camera's in, he's smiling. And, and Janie goes, he was always smiling. And I said, when he was a kid, he was always smiling because he was up so. 
<laughs> that little joke of getting into so much stuff. But, uh, you know, as I sat there and thought about it on my ride home and, and uh, while I was down in Charlotte, I was like, you know, uh, she's right, man. Even as he grew up, he, he grew up to be a, a good young man, a good, uh, a good guy. And, and he always had a smile on his face. Every time I see him, he'd be coming down to my house, cracking just with my friend speed, telling him he ain't got no neck. <laughs> or, or, or saying something like, Uncle Antoine. Hey, hey, Caroline beat do real bad last year, you know what I mean? Some, some crazy, man. But, you know, it's, this is a tough one. Like, as a parent, I, I, I can't find the words to give um, to, to, to show you exactly uh, or to console you in this moment of grief. You know, that there's nothing you can do to prepare you as a parent to, to, to have to bury your child. All I want you guys to know is that I'm there, uh, my family's there, everybody here at this great site is there for y'all, so if y'all ever need something, you know, uh, don't be afraid to reach out, touch out, and um, we'll do likewise. Bless your heart. I'm honored. I'm honored of the Lord to be able to have part in this service today. 2,000 years ago, our Heavenly Father watched His Son die on Calvary's tree. And ever since that day, He stood by the graveside. He stood by every bedside. And He said, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Dion, I thank the Lord. Carrie, I don't know how you feel, honey, but thank God I know he does. In the prayer of Moses in the 90th Psalm, Moses asked God, he said, so teach us to number our days and to apply our hearts unto wisdom. Apply our hearts unto wisdom. Life, 
Life is an uncertain thing. As Antoine said a moment ago, you don't get prepared to hear phone calls like this. I'd gone to bed the other night and Dion texted me. And I seen it, I thought, oh Lord, what's, what's wrong? And I picked up my phone and he said, pray for Cameron. He's been in an accident and he's on a ventilator. Next morning, I, we've only been able to do live stream because of this virus. I put him out for all of our folks at church to pray for he and the family. I thought about Psalm 90 verse 12, so teach us to number our days. Speaks to the brevity of life. We're here today gone tomorrow. James said, for what is life? It is but a vapor. Just here for a moment. You ever watch a foggy morning? The fog hangs low, it hangs thick, and then almost without warning, the sun burns through. The fog's gone. We're here for just a few days. Here for just a few days. And the only thing that matters in this life is to know that you know that you know that you know you've been washed in the blood of the darting Lamb of God and that your soul is saved by God's marvelous grace. Margie, my wife, reminded me of something this morning. She said, I remember Cameron telling me he played the drums in the house of God. I asked Curie the other morning, by the way, I've gotten close my wife and myself have gotten close to this family. I, I love these folk. They've been good to us. We've tried to be good to them. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. I said, Curie. She said, Steve, why? 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 I said, honey, I don't know that. I, I can't answer that. I don't have the answer for that. Romans 8.28 reminds us all things work together for good. God did not tell me that I would see the good here. But he's told me it's there. I said, if we're ready to meet the Lord, I said, Kerry Cameron knew the Lord, did he? She said, yes. What does the Bible tell us, ma'am? To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He's not here today. He is not here. He is not here. When you're saved by God's grace, to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Life is brief. There's a whole lot of young folks here. Life is brief. You don't have to be old to leave this world. You don't have to be sick to leave this world. But in order to go to heaven, you have to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Life is brief. Speaks to the brevity of life. It speaks to the beauty of life. I talked about Cameron smiling. I've aggravated these boys and Haley ever since I moved in over there. I've picked at them. I've aggravated them. I never didn't call Haley by her name. Still don't much. I called her Agnes May. Four years old when I moved in, she'd come out to the yard, she'd stand there and she'd say, Steve. <laughs> I'd look around, I'd say, what are you doing, Agnes May? And she'd smile, turn around, run in the house. <laughs> Those boys, Deontay and Cameron played ball with my boys, my grandsons, Hayden and Dalton. We're from up in Cherokee, North Carolina. I pastor Bethel Baptist Church here in Greensboro. They'd come down, they'd play ball. Beauty. Did he smile all the time? All the time. Saturday morning, last Saturday morning, my young, my, one of my granddaughters and myself were heading to Hickory to meet her mother. She's in medical field and she felt like her daughter was safer here because she never know when she's gonna come in contact with this corona thing. Cameron came out of the house. He's down by his white car. He throwed that hand up, had on a red sweatshirt, 
and the hood over his head. It was cold that morning. He threw that hand up and smiled and waved at us. That's the last time I saw him. Beauty of life. Kerry, God's leaving you with something that's precious. It's called memories. Dion, any time. Son, any, you remember those memories. Can I get five daughters from you? You remember that? In days to come when you're feeling low, God will bring those memories to your heart and to your mind and they'll lift you out of a valley and help you along life's way. I don't know. I have no way of knowing, but I like to think that maybe old Cameron shouted down by the throne of God a little while ago. God said, Cameron, they're gathered up at lakes at Lakeview. I like to think he might have said, God, I want you to bless my family. Will you help them today? Life is a brief thing. Life is a beautiful thing. Hey, life is a beneficial thing. This young man, having lost his life on this side of eternity, saved five more lives. What day was it, Dion? Tuesday. Tuesday. Five people on different lists of organ donation received an organ from this young man. Life's a beneficial thing. Friends, family, love the people God's given you. Love them. Because you never know what's coming your way. And if you're here today and you have never asked the Lord Jesus Christ, to be your personal Savior. I want to encourage you. Call on His name. You'll never be sorry that you trusted the Lord Jesus. You'll never be sorry. You'll never be sorry. Kerry, honey, I'm no singer, but I want to do something for you if I can. I am no, you're fixing to find out that I am no singer. <clears throat> Don't know if I can or not. My home may not look like a castle. My clothes may be lacking in style. And if you come sit at my table, a meager supply you might find but oh it's not what you see that makes me a king makes me a king to me I've everything all that I need are treasures unseen, treasures unseen. Folks, I'm going to pray, and I want you to come around and speak as, as we're allowed to do. Pray for this family. Pray for them. In the days to come, you'll come back to this place. Remember, he is not here to be absent from the body. He's to be present with the Lord. Our Father, we give you glory, God, we give you have. And everything, oh God, we hope to have, we owe to you. We owe to you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen.